catalytic converter theft isn't just on the rise, it's spiking. It's a lucrative theft that only takes seconds. Fox 5 by team's Dana Fowl has the numbers, the reasons, and the protections, Dana. And it is such a problem that Carfax decided to try it out themselves. And yes, it does not take long to rob you of something that could cost thousands to repair. a test by Carfax, the company that runs vehicle history reports, and an auto parts partner store. They want to see just how quickly a catalytic converter can be stolen. He slips under a vehicle with an electric saw and he gets to work. It's noisy, but if you live in a city or a busy area, that could easily go unnoticed. The trucks and the vans in particular, they sit high off the ground. They make for easy marks. Carfax reports that last year there were 153,000 catalytic converter thefts reported. These are the top three most vulnerable vehicles in Metro Atlanta, the Ford F-150 truck series, the Honda Accord, and the Ford Econoline van. Under that truck, the stage theft took only 66 seconds. In just about a minute, a real thief walks away with precious metals, palladium, platinum, and rhodium. Palladium and platinum are trading for about $1,000 a piece or an ounce uh, on the market right now, but rhodium is going for $10,000 an ounce. Yes, he said $10,000 an ounce for something many of us have never even heard of. Rhodium? Vehicles in Atlanta can last longer because of our good year-round climate, but older car owners then will often drop comprehensive insurance at some point and go to liability only. Liability insurance won't cover this theft, so uh, you might want to consider getting comprehensive insurance because that will cover this kind of theft. It costs between $900 and $4,500 to replace the catalytic converter. So to avoid being a target, park your vehicle in a garage or use off-street parking. Use well-lit areas. And if you're working from home, be sure to move your car around. Don't leave it in one spot. You don't want it to look abandoned. The auto dealers are very often now etching the vehicle identification number onto the cover of the catalytic converter itself. But it's still not enough. When an easy target and good money only take a minute to snatch, it's too good for some not to steal. Now, law enforcement is trying to stay on top of this. Last fall, the Justice Department busted a 21-person ring from nine different states. They're doing what they can. Yeah, okay, so clearly cracking down on people who buy these stolen catalytic converters, right? Yeah, and then there's that, too. Lawmakers, that's where they come in, are trying to keep up. But that's also tough. There are some types of cases or locks of some sort that are on the market that you can put around it. I cannot explain that. I just had a loose conversation, I, so I can't endorse it, but maybe you can look that up if that's something that interests you. Poke around the internet, see for yourself. Carfax said they couldn't endorse it yet either, but they think there's something emerging on the market that you could use. Well, that would be great. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it's very needed right now. Right. But, I yeah, mean, this is big business. I know it's been a long time since chemistry, but I was like, rhodium? What's yeah. Rhodium? And some, I know I'm going to get a call and go, well, rhodium is, and I, I would appreciate that. But... Um, <laughs> Crazy, it's, yeah, it's, and then pass that along to me because same. I had no. I was like, oh wow, I didn't yeah. know what it was being used for. Right, and my assumption was it was to steal it and resell it as a whole right. unit. Me too. And that's not the case. So interesting. Melting wow. them down. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. All right. On top of it, Dana. Thank you.